Hello students, welcome back to the tutorial. Hope you all are doing fine at your homes. Stay, stay safe, stay inside. You know, winters have approached. Okay students, let us continue with the revision part. Today we are going to start with the revision of lesson 9 that is soil. But you know, soil is a very valuable natural resource. Without soil, no life is possible like air and water. Right? Why this is so? Because on soil, plants they grow. Due to soil, the growth of the plants is possible, right? And without plants, there is no life. You know that very well. So that is why they are soil is considered as a valuable natural resource. Students, this soil, apart from plants growth, it is also home to many animals. So many small plants, they live in soil, they get air and water from soil and they survive. Right, hope this is clear to you all. These were the important uses of soil, importance of soil. Right now, coming to the next topic. The next topic is formation of soil. But how soil is formed? As you all know, you are doing it since third standard. It is formed by the process of weathering. What is weathering? It is a breaking down of rocks into tiny pieces by the action of air, water, wind and other climatic factors. These big, big pieces of rocks, they get broken down into small pieces and it takes millions of years in the formation of soil. It is not like that, that today it rains and tomorrow it breaks and day after tomorrow soil is formed. No, it takes millions of years. So, formation of soil is a slow process and it is never ending, never stopping process. Means it is a continuous process. It is going on continuously. Right? So, formation of soil is taking place by the process of weathering. So, bache, after weathering, what happened when very, very fine pieces of rocks are formed, the soil is formed, this soil, it gets mixed with the dead plants and animals which add fertility to this. Due to this, they are capable of giving growth to plants, right? This dead plants and animals that add organic matter to the soil, it is known as humus. What is humus? It is remains of dead plants and animals that are added to the soil that provide the organic matter that make the soil fertile. Now, bache, next is composition of soil. Next topic I am going to cover is composition of soil. Composition of soil means how soil is formed. Means, uh, not how soil is formed, what is the composition? Means of what things it is composed of. Right? So, for this, you had done the activity also in the class. Ma'am showed you the activity. In that, what we did, we took a garden soil and we add water in it. Then we keep it undisturbed for some time. Then what we did is, we saw different layers were formed in the soil. In very cut short, I will show you as we are just doing the revision. So, what will happen if we add water to the soil and keep it undisturbed, certain layers will form, right? That show the composition of soil. Which layers are formed? At the bottom, there is a gravel. Gravel are broken pieces of rock, right? These are the gravel particles. Like this. This is a gravel, right? Then, about why gravel at the bottom? Because it is heavier than any other thing. So, the thing which is heavier, it will settle at the bottom. So, the second heavier thing will form a layer above the gravel and that is sand. The particle of sand, they are lighter than gravel, but they are heavier than other constituents. Right? So, I will not draw in detail. We had already done this. But just... Hurriedly, I will be showing you. These are the particles of sand. There is difference in the diameter of their particles. Right? Then, above sand, there is a layer of silt or clay, you can say. Right? Then, above this, there is a layer of silt. This is very thin layer between the clay. Uh, I must... 
draw like this. This is a silt. Of course, diameter is very less than sand silt. Then above this, there is a layer of clay. Sticky particles. I am drawing like this. This is clay. Then above the clay, there is a layer of water. I am showing it like this. This is water. Above the water, there is a layer of humus. Like this, you can also draw. Or you can draw simply like this. You can draw. This is a layer of humus showing dead plants and animals, flowers, so many things, right? That add fertility to the soil. This is the composition of soil, right? Hope it is clear to you. The main point of telling you this is the lowermost layer. It is the heaviest of all, right? That is why it is settled at the bottom. Then comes sand. It is lighter than gravel, but heavier than other. Then silt. Then silt is a very uh, fine layer. Then comes clay. Then comes water and then the humus. Humus is lightest of all. You know, they float on the surface of water. Hope constituents are, composition is clear to all. Now, next, bache, apart from this, soil contains water, so we have done air also. Soil contains air also, right? So, these air and water are very important for the growth of organisms that are living in soil, right? They get air and water from the soil, okay? Hope this is clear to you all. Now, students, but as we have discussed that soil is so, so important to us, Still, we people are polluting the soil. We are dumping polythene bags, plastic things and other metals in the soil, which is causing soil pollution. But they are damaging our soil. As a result, the soil is becoming infertile. It is of no more use of plants. Okay? So, we should be very much careful. We should take care of the environment. To avoid this, we should avoid the usage of plastic bags. You must be knowing that in some cities, in some states, polythene, especially in hilly areas, it is totally banned. Why so? Because it is causing the soil pollution as well as air pollution. So it is these hill stations, they are losing their beauty. To avoid this, government has banned. Right? So we should also take care of our mother nature. We should also protect our environment as we have seen that soil is so important to us. So we should pay extra attention to it. Stop dumping these things, right? Now coming to the next topic. Our next topic is soil profile. Let me raise this. Okay, what is soil profile? Jab bhi hum soil dekhte hai, we always see the upper part of the soil, right? But what is soil profile? It is a vertical section. It is a vertical section taken, right? Through which the different layers of the soil are seen. Soil ko agar hum andar tak dik karte hai, to different layers are seen. So according to it, there are basically four, four layers of the soil. At the bottom, I am drawing. It is again, hurriedly I have to draw. Just to make the point clear to you. Bache, ek chiz ka aapko exam mein dhyan rakhna hota hai. Aapko soil profile poochha gaya hai ya composition of soil poochhi gaya hai. You often, you people get confused and make mistakes. Right? So students, coming to soil profile. What is soil profile? It is the vertical section through which different layers of soil are seen. So at the bottom, there is a layer of big rocks. That is bedrock. Right? Big rocks are there at the bottom. Right? Then after this, there is the third layer. That is sea horizon. We can say in case of sea horizon, there is small lumps of broken rocks. There are broken pieces of rocks like this. Right? Then above it, there is B horizon. B horizon kya hai? It is just below the topsoil. Like this. Water is found here. And little humus is also found here. Water is present here in this layer. Right? 
एंड अब ऑल सबसे ऊपर क्या है ए हरिजन इट इज डार्क ब्राउन इन कलर वेरी फाइन पार्टिकल्स प्लांट्स आर ग्रोन इन दिस लेयर राइट प्लांट्स ग्रासेस एवरीथिंग इज ग्रोन इन दिस लेयर द रूट्स ऑफ द ट्रीज दे रीच अप टू द सेकेंड लेयर हेयर आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग ए हॉरिजन इसको हम टॉप सॉइल भी बोलते हैं देन बी हॉरिजन बी हॉरिजन को वी से सब सॉइल देन सी हॉरिजन सी हॉराइजन को हम सबस्ट्रेक्टम भी बोलते हैं देन डी हॉराइजन इट इज नोन एज बेड रॉक राइट लेट मी राइट टॉप सॉइल then there is subsoil then this is substratum this is another name for horizons right <coughs> excuse me then this is bedrock right now we will be doing it what is present in which layer coming to the top soil or a horizon bache this is the topmost layer of the soil most fertile layer of the soil and Humus is present in large amount in this soil. In this layer, that makes the soil fertile, right? This layer is soft and retain much water. And above all, this layer it provides shelter to many small organisms. So all the important activities are conducted by this layer, right? Means what? What I told you, what is present here? Humus, right? Water, then. it is providing home shelter to many animals it is soft and porous right most fertile layer of the soil then comes to b horizon bachche b me kya hai it is just below the top soil this it contains little humus as compared to a horizon b horizon contains little humus and this layer is rich in minerals and iron oxides the roots of the trees reach up to this layer to get the minerals and water right now it is lighter than a horizon then coming to c horizon or substratum bachche it is below the b horizon now this layer it lacks humus there is no humus isko chahe saath mein likh lena you will remember there is no humus at all right इसमें क्रैक्स और क्रिवाइसिस होते हैं देन कमिंग टू डी हराइजन दैट इज बेड रॉक बच्चे दिस इज द सॉलिड हार्ड लेयर ऑफ वेदर ड्रॉप्स राइट वॉटर इट कैन नॉट पेनीट्रेट थ्रू द बेड रॉक सो इट इज एक्यूमुलेटेड हेयर वॉटर यहां पे एक्यूमुलेटेड हो जाता है राइट दिस वॉटर which is accumulated above the bedrock it is known as underground water right jisko hum ground water bolte hain okay and the level of this water it is known as water table kitna level hai it is known as water table right after this hope the soil profile is clear to all now students next we are going to start with types of soil what are types of soil just the last topic for today tomorrow we will be covering different properties of soil types of to soil today i am going to do there are basically three types of soil given in your book bachche this the categories of soil they are made the types of soil this soil is categorized on the basis of the particles of size of the rock particles it is categorized on the basis of size of particles right on the basis of size of particles there are three types of soil that is sandy soil clay soil and loamy soil right all the three types have different characteristics so first of all we will be doing sandy soil i gave you the differences also in the class right we have done the characteristics in detail here we will be doing it 
we will be just recapitulating the things. So sandy soil, it contains large amount of sand. As clear from the name, large amount of sand is present. Right? Number two, these sand particles are very large. So it is well aerated. Means air can pass through it properly. Then, because there are large spaces with them, it cannot hold water. Water drains. Because air is there, but water is not able to uh, get hold in this. So, it means it is not suitable for growing crops. Right? Achhi uh, khasi crops not, not, uh, cannot grow here. Not suitable for crops. Then, next is very little humus. Humus what come hai isme. That is why it is not fertile. Very little humus it is. One more I want to write. That it is not sticky. I am writing here. It is not sticky. Because water holding capacity is poor. So the particles cannot stick to each other. Now coming to clay soil. It mainly contains clay. Right? Particles are very close to each other. Particle size is small. So it is not well aerated. Air cannot pass. But because the particles are very close to each other, water holding capacity is high. Right? Means it can hold more water. Water holding capacity is high. Then students, because water holding capacity is high, it gets waterlogged during the rainy season. Means jab barish hoti hai, paani in ke andar hai ta keechad ban jata hai. Right? It is very sticky. Because it can hold water, so it is very sticky. Right? It is very heavy. Why heavy? Because it can hold water. And when after getting wet, when it is dried, it becomes very hard. You might have seen the things made of clay. Anna, for decoration purposes, we make the things made of clay. What is we uh, wet the uh, clay first, then give it a shape immediately, then dry it and that permanent shape is there. Right? Now coming to the last category that is loamy soil. But in case of loamy soil, it contains equal amount of sand and clay. What is present it is it contains equal amount of clay and sand. Because equal amount of clay and sand is there, it means proper water holding capacity. Proper water holding capacity plus water holding capacity ke saath saath well aerated also. Right? So, humus is also there which makes it very fertile. Plants grow very well in this type of soil. Clear? Then, bache. <coughs> Next point is it can be plowed easily. Plowed easily. So, hope the Differences as well as characteristics of every type of soil is clear to you all. Uh, with this we have finished today's topic. Only properties of soil are left that we will be starting tomorrow. We will be doing tomorrow. Okay. Till then enjoy. Do the revisions thoroughly. Okay. Thank you.